So after coming into New Orleans and seeing nothing but devastation on the way in, coming south on I-10, we decided to stay at the Holiday Inn in downtown New Orleans, the business district. And even in the business district, as you can see, right the building right next door to us, look at all the damage, windows blown out. This whole building suffered significant damage right next to us here. This is just one example of many, many buildings, even in the downtown area, that are still closed down and there's no activity. I mean, look, at this is morning rush hour, folks. Hardly a car on the street. There's a few cars over here, but nothing like what you would normally see in New Orleans at a busy rush hour. Very quiet for a major city. Here we go, Mitch for mayor. Turns out now Ray Nagin has now won the election as mayor of New Orleans. After failing the city, now we have a repeat performance possibly this year coming up. So we'll see what he can do to get the city back, but they got a lot of work to do here, folks. Deciding to head into the Ninth Ward this morning. This is our second second day in New Orleans, and we're following Beto Driver in the message board. And he knows the area well, so we're following him into the Ninth Ward, and we're going to get some views of the levee and a lot of the damage in this area. Okay, these are all the old damaged cars they brought in from the Lower Ninth Ward, I guess. Towards the river. You see how right here in the center? You see the increase in elevation? Yeah, look at this way. You see it going down. You see it going down? down. This is Beto Driver. He's been our guy here. Taking us in the lower ninth ward. We go see some other areas closer to the levee. Yeah. yeah, we came over the bridge yeah. and this is what we ran into. Oh my god. Even as much as you've seen on the news. Uh -huh. yes. uh, you know, we passed that where that yeah. that levee was over there. I wanted to go yeah, back can, and look Jim at that. Jim, let us know if we can get back to where that levee was. Like at the bridge there? Okay. Okay, all right. Bye. There it says if you saw the levee break, wanted photos, video. It just wasn't substantial enough uh, ground underneath it to hold the, the sheet piles in place. So it just pushed right over. Yeah, they mentioned that when it tilted, the water got down in front of the wall, and that's right. what deteriorated the base of it. In other places where the levees weren't armored, it overtopped the levees and started eating her out the back side. And eventually, the strength of the levee went down and just pushed over. Do they know where most of the people died? Are they right in this, where we're standing, or would you say is it spotty? Spread through evenly spotty. throughout. I'd say this is a, a pretty bad area. They had a lot of death here. Here and in St. Bernard Parish, for the time. Just.
Army Corps of Engineers hard at work rebuilding the levees. devastation from the wall collapsing. That's supporting it though, that, oh, that I wall know, right the there. The wall isn't high enough up. It should be more like this height where we're standing, but that's me. If they had it as high as this, I'd be happy. This is good, but it's not good enough to make me happy. I'm sorry, I'm a spoiled one. And they're going to put this over here to support this long wall here. Great idea, I think. New Orleans, we passed the Superdome and 